I think this actually flies. Oh. It breathes fire. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Trailmakers. And today we are looking at the new Steam Workshop supports. For the first time in Trailmakers, we can actually upload creations to the workshop and download other people's creations directly from the workshop. And right now I'm actually in, there's a beta that has access to this right now. So it's not in the official release. So you have to opt, in, opt into the beta if you want the workshop support. So if we go into build mode, we go down to blueprints over here and there used to be just these four options, but now you can see the steam logo I or icon right here. We can open up the workshop. And now the cool thing about this is we're actually looking at the workshop right now. This isn't just things that I've subscribed to. This is also just the workshop itself. And you can sort of buy how many votes you can sort of buy, let's say like newest. Ooh, this one actually looks pretty good. So I can just subscribe to this one right here. There we go. And if you want to sort by the things that you subscribe to, I don't, for some reason, I don't think subscriptions, I think installed is it. Installed is the ones that you actually have the check mark next to. Yeah, there you go. So these are all the ones I browse for the workshop and um, we're going to select a few of these to try out and see what ideas you guys have come up with that I may never even have thought to try in Trail Makers because some of these look really, really cool, including like an awesome gaming PC here. Uh, so we're definitely going to take a look at that one. All right, so after you've gone into the workshop and you've chosen which ones you want to subscribe to, then you can actually go into saved vehicles. And then at the end of your saved vehicles, you can see the ones with all these workshop uh, icons there are the ones you subscribe to. And I think this is also the one, one of the ones I subscribe to. For some reason, I got separated. I think the ones that you subscribe to recently while the game is open appear on this side. The ones you subscribe to while the game is off appear over here. So let's start with something relatively simple. We're going to go with this thing right here. Now, unfortunately, one of the things, I guess one of my main criticisms right now is I can't see the description when I'm actually spawning the vehicle in. So I can't, as far as I know, what if I click on the workshop icon there? Nope. As far as I know, I can't see, I can't actually see the description when I'm spawning the vehicle. So I have to go find it in the workshop if I want to get the control scheme, if I can't figure it out on my own. But this is apparently a uh, stable, one of the most stable go-karts that this person has driven. So let's see just how stable. Whoa, whoa, that turning is really sharp. All right, oh, and we have space for thrust as well. All right, I wish that there was like a race course in sandbox mode. Maybe they're gonna be adding a race course in sandbox mode at some point, but this thing feels really, like we're, we're not even on flat ground right now. We're just on like the bumpy normal terrain and this thing is actually really stable. So I believe him and the turning too. Like here, let's uh, let's keep our full speed here. Let's see if we can turn around the circumference of the circle. Oh, oh yeah, we totally could if we actually centered ourselves here. Let me, uh, oh, let me see if I could do this. No, oh, I'm making it worse. I'm just making it worse. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. We could just turn, do donuts inside the circle. This is great. All right, so this is a relatively simple build to start off with. A nice, compact go-kart. Oh, it's even got a mustache and lights on the front. That's excellent. <laughs> so let's uh, let's try a flying creation next. Let's see what we can do for a flying creation from the workshop. Another thing I'm realizing is it doesn't even give me the name of who made it, because I like to give credit when possible to uh, the creators of the creation. So right now, I have no way of seeing who made these unless I go open up the workshop and then I go by sort by installed. Oh, and it doesn't even tell me here who made it either. All right. Well, it, this is my biggest feedback right now is um, credit the creators on their actual vehicle so we can actually see who is responsible for these things. We have the names, though, if we go in here at least, but you have to search for the one that you actually want to use and then you can't spawn it from here. So then you have to go find it. So it's not the most convenient thing. That's why it's in beta right now. That's why I'm giving my feedback in this video. So hopefully we'll be able to see these changes when uh, when the full update comes out. So this is uh, called the most stable cart that I know if you guys are interested in that on the workshop. So let's see what flying vehicle are we going to play with? All right, this thing looks ridiculous. This is called cute little plane, fly good, no drama, no controls or anything. So now let's go find it down here. Here it is. All right, this thing looks like a jetpack. The seat is like hidden inside there. How are we? Oh, I thought I was going to fall over. I guess not. This is, it's like, a, it's legitimately like a jetpack. It even has like the handles on the sides with the exhaust pipe. All right, well, let's get in here and see what happens. Uh, oh, space apparently. 
What? Oh, this is weird. Oh, oh! Oh, this is the way it's supposed to be! This is amazing! This thing is amazing! I think we found a new, like, smallest plane. It's a propeller pa- oh, oh no. <laughs> it's propeller powered too. I am like really impressed with this thing. Here, can we go back to the start here? And it's like a vertical takeoff too. Uh oh, I'm upside down. Wait, am I upside down? No, I'm not upside down. This is the right way. I am really impressed with how this thing looks and flies. I just I wish that the that the the roll was a little bit faster so we could bank this way and then turn and bank the other way just a little bit quicker because it's kind of hard to adjust back and forth. Is there a yaw? No, there is not yaw. Yeah, it is just pure uh, seat, pure seat uh, tilting and pitching. There's no actual like moving parts on this. I don't think. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, this exhaust coming out in my face. Ooh. Ooh, we have a new part over here. Eh, got it. <laughs> All right, let's take one more second to play with this thing. I'm going to go through that hoop of fire, and then we're going to see how this thing lands, or at least how I can land it. I haven't actually s tried to land this thing without exploding yet. So let's try to we'll go through this hoop, no problem. And then let's see if we can land. Where are we going to land? Oh, no, pull up, pull up, pull up. Let's just go land. Uh, let's try to land in this checkpoint over here. All right, nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. Oh, 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 already ready, ready, ready. Let's see if we can land the same way that we uh, took off. Oh, I guess not. Perfect. All right, let's see what else we can play with. These are really, really fun. Like, I'm, I'm kind of learning what's possible with the game too by looking at the workshop creations. Cause so far, I've just kind of been in my own, my own bubble with just what I can come up with. And uh, oftentimes it's good to play with other creations so you can kind of realize what you didn't even think of to try. And then you can then you can assimilate that into your own knowledge and apply that to your own creations. All right, so we've done a flying vehicle. We've done a car based vehicle. Let's try a hover vehicle. And this one says it skips the water, but don't stop, you'll sink. So I'm assuming that this is a hover vehicle and it looks really cool. It's called the Seahawk. All right, so let's see if we can find it down here. Here it is. We got the Seahawk right here. What? What? Those hover pads aren't facing the right way. Okay. Okay. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm going to press some buttons here. The only moving part I see is the turning right here. So I'm really confused at how this is supposed to work. Let's see if it actually goes over water. I don't... What? How does that... How does that work? The hover pads aren't even facing the water. And it turns great. That's awesome. Huh. That's really interesting. So I'm wondering, because with hovercrafts and stuff, I've had issues with turning. Oh, whoop, that that's a failure. I've had issues turning with uh, tail fins because it always seems like the tail fins prevent me from staying turned. Like once I try to straighten out, they just kind of, uh, they push me back to facing the way that I was originally going. But it seems like maybe because he says, because the turning fins are behind the straight ones, the ones that are static, maybe that changes it. I don't know. But, oh no, oh no, oh, okay, oh. All right, we survived. All right, well, I feel like this thing is meant for the water, but let's see how it does on land anyway. Oh boy, especially this land. This land is not gonna be good for this thing, I don't think. Oh no. My bad. Like, can we just appreciate how awesome this thing looks in the first place? Like, this is a really, really well-designed vehicle. All right, let's see. Uh, I, I do want to kind of see how this thing does on land just like normally. Because the water feels nice, but I'm a little bit skeptical about how it's going to do on just land in general. But it actually it doesn't turn quite as sharp on land. You can feel a little bit of the friction. But in general, oh boy. 
Oh boy. Okay. Okay. All right. I don't. The hover pads make it act really weird in the air. But yeah, I like that creation a lot. It looks really good, and I have to try to learn from how he did the steering there because the, I've, I've had issues with steering like that in the past. All right, so we, now we've done land, air, and hover. So let's do something with weapons. And uh, this right here, Clawfist, is a weaponized and rocket-powered car, and it have, apparently has a back fin tilt option with Y there. So let's find this thing. Here it is. Right there. Ooh, this thing looks great. I didn't realize it. I didn't even realize it used the big wheels. All right, so what does it mean by the fin tilt? Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. This thing looks awesome. All right, and we apparently have rocket power too. Wait, it's supposed to be weaponized. How do we use the cannon? Ah, okay, there we go. Oh, the cannon is a toggle. Whoa, oh, look at that. I love how low this thing is to the ground, too. This thing looks great. And it functions great, too. All right, let's see if we can actually go up this without falling off. I don't know why I'm leaving my cannon on, but why? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Can we survive? It doesn't, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No way. No way we just survived that. All right, this thing's pretty awesome. And I just realized, does it have four-wheel steering? It does have four-wheel steering, but I don't think it's too extreme. I think, is the front wheels steer more, does the front wheels steer more than the back wheels? Now nah, they look about the same. Whoops. This thing, wait, can it go upside down? No, no, not because of the tail fins. The tail fins wouldn't let it go upside down. All right, well, we're still going with only two wheels, so, oop. All right, now we're kind of stuck. All right, but this design is pretty legit. I mean, look at this thing. It kind of makes me want to design like an all-around just car for my own purposes as well. Oh, let's do the loop. We're going to do the loop in here. Ready? Eh. Good job, Scrapman. You nailed that. All right, let's try that one more time, shall we? Eh. There we go. Oh, this is terrible. This is a terrible view. <laughs> Hold on. We can do it. There we go. We got first person now. Am I losing parts i'm hearing bad things here let's uh let's go ahead and exit out of here if we can't uh oh uh oh uh oh all right well here's the test i'm upside what is going on right now what camera am i top view no i don't want top view vehicle chase where's orbit orbit camera here we go all right i'm upside down and nope i cannot drive upside down apparently oh kind of almost but not really oh there we go. Now we're good. All's good. Nothing wrong here. Nothing wrong here at all. Oh, okay. Blew myself up with my own cannon. All right. Let's spawn in another one. All right. This thing I am really, really curious about. It's called the Crystal Dragon. It's a large dragon that moves, flies, and breathes fire. Uh, and I cannot actually view the controls here. So we're just going to spawn in and try to figure it out on our own. Oh. Oh, this looks even better in person. I didn't even realize that it had like teeth and eyes and stuff. Oh, this looks awesome. I hope I can figure out how to use it. All right. Let's, uh, oh, okay. Oh, I think this actually flies. Oh, it breathes fire. What? Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is so cool. Now we just got to figure out how to get it up into the air. Okay, I just opened up the Steam page on my other monitor, and I'm glad I did because these are not easy or not simple controls. So let's go to a flat area, I hope. Oh, it just died. <laughs> All right, here we are. Apparently, space also generates upward force, but we need more than that. We can also do H. Oh, yeah, look at that. The eyes tilt out a bit, uh, the wings turn in, and the tail fins go out as well. This is awesome. And there we go. There's our tails. All right. And to fly, we have to hold up arrow, space, and S. All right. Space and up arrow. Get up off the ground. 
And then as soon as the dragons start, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, <laughs> oh no, face plant. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. All right, come on, come on. All right, there we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. Okay. All right, I have to. I have to use both hands for this. All right, and let's go up. Oh, oh, look at that. That is great. Oh, this is great. This is so great. I need a different camera though. Oh, that's first person. I don't want first person. I want like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I want the vehicle chase. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, we're flying. We're doing it. We're flying. We got it. Now let's turn. Oh boy. Oh, turning is actually really hard. Turning's actually kind of hard. Okay. Oh no, too much, too much. Turn. A little bit. There we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, I forgot to do. Was it H? There we go. There we go. This thing feels amazing, and it looks amazing too. I can't believe this works. Oh, look at this. I love the way it like tilts his head and stuff, and its body. Uh oh, oh. Calm down. Calm down. I'm dead. Do you think I can put this thing through the tunnel? I don't know if I can. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was great. Okay. Well, I don't want to spend too much time on a single creation, but that was an, that, that was my favorite so far. It looked amazing, and uh, and the functionality was just awesome. All right. Now, speaking of animals, let's check out the shark here. The controls look simple enough, so we're gonna spawn this thing in. Is it a hovercraft? It must be a hovercraft, right? Or maybe it's a plane. Uh, it actually, kind of looks like a plane now. Oh, look at that. Look at the tail go. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, oh, that's interesting. That is really interesting. Wait, why does that tilt me up? That's kind of weird. That looks like the opposite of what I would expect. This has some really interesting controls here. I like the way that looks. And look how easy this thing is. This is super easy too. Oh, it actually needs some help with the upwards, uh, tilting upwards. It, it has a, you can see a thruster in the front there to help us out with that. Oh, actually that's how it's tilting. Okay, that makes more sense now. That makes more sense now. So it actually is using thrust for pitch as well. Whoops, whoops, there we go. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's let's keep under control now. Now this thing, I I think I can take through the tunnel. I could probably take this thing through the tunnel. I might I might be speaking too soon though. I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I spoke too soon. All right, I'm gonna look at one more creation for this episode, and it has to be the gaming PC. Somebody actually built a gaming PC in this game here. All right, here it is. Hopefully it's, oh, it is gonna be laggy. It is going to be laggy. How many parts is this thing? Block count 657. That's actually not terrible. It's not terrible. A lot of weight. Okay, let's, uh, we're gonna try to spawn this thing in here. I'm trying. Um, oh, there it goes. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, look at the fans. So apparently this is a gaming PC with like a lot of different parts and fans. We can see the graphics card in there with the motherboard. We can see the CPU cooler. We can see the top fans, some front fans, some bottom fans. We got our power, so we have plugs. Yep, there we go. Plugs for our power supply in the back there. We got uh, some of our other inputs and stuff back here. This is great. This looks great. All right, uh, there's a seat somewhere. Oh. Uh, there it is right here. So then apparently, oh, let's put a orbital cam on. So then apparently, there we go. We have all of our fans on. We have our graphics cards fans <laughs> and everything. Apparently this took them three days to build to try to put everything in here. So yeah, as far as uh, uniqueness and creativity, I think this one is definitely going to take the cake. It's like the only non-vehicle I've really seen <laughs> so far. So uh, good job on that. All right, so seeing what other people have made on the workshop, I still want to try to build some cool stuff and interesting concepts. We've done a lot of different things so far, so I want you to let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see in Trail Makers, and uh, I might take it as a challenge and try to do it myself in an episode. So let me know down in those comments 
what kind of creations you would like to see. Now, make sure it's actually possible because some things are just a little bit too complex or like just not actually doable given like the way that the game works. So uh, keep that in mind, please, because uh, I don't want to take on impossible challenges. Then again, hasn't stopped me before, has it? Maybe that's just what you guys like to see is just the, the inevitable failure of an impossible challenge. But anyway, look forward to seeing those comments. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future Trailmakers episodes. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.